guys, Jonah here. And as you can see, sitting next to the Christmas tree, uh, the Christmas tree that is, that is part of the beer company Advent Calendar 2022. I've had a few teething problems uh, with this, as I've kind of documented already. Lots of stuff online. That is not what this video is about. This is purely about the beer. Um, and today is day number two. Um, so we are on to the second, the second tranche. Um, and this says, it, we have part of the poem continuing. Charlie stared at the box. It said, don't open me yet. However, the temptation was growing and Charlie started to sweat. Baubles to it. He shouted and exclaimed, come on everyone, I cannot be blamed. Charlie ripped open the box, a Christmas tree started to appear. In guilt his nose turned more red than a reindeer's. The first door a glass of beer and some socks, a treat of some delicious and juicy fresh hops. Cool. I mean, you can say what you like, but the design of this is pretty cool. Um, and by the design, I mean the look of it. Um, it is a bit flimsy, I've, I've said that before, but the way it's set out looks really cool. If it was just a little bit more sturdy, um, you could theoretically use this year and year and year. And it does make quite a good centerpiece for the room. So we are doing door number two. And what have we got? It's a northern monk. Well, let's have a look. It is a northern monk. It says, don't hurry, be happy. Don't hurry, be happy now. Do, 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 do. And there is a sloth. It looks like he's got some Northern Monk. It's a Session IPA. 4.1% ABV. Ugh, Session IPA. Please, please stop doing this Session IPA nonsense. It's absolute rubbish. Uh, citrusy light and refreshing. Easy breezy, crisp, refreshing IPA with mild bitterness and notes of uh, citrus for sustained sippability. Wow, there's a lot of sibilance in that sentence. It's not a sprint or a marathon, it's a session. Wow. Um, and it says you can visit the tap room, all that kind of stuff. I do like the, I do like that sticker. That uh, sticker, that label, that is quite cool. Don't hurry, be happy now. This wasn't a session IPA. If it was just referred to as a pale ale, I would be mighty happy. Got that song in my head now. Don't worry, be happy now. Okay, let us go for a pour of some beer. These haven't been in the fridge, so it's a bit of a Bit of a gamble. This one is pouring beautifully. Getting a little bit of head, but not massive. Wow, that is going to fit the whole can in one. Okay, it's only a 3.30 can. Uh, let's try and, yeah, let's try and get this in the shot. Don't worry, be happy. Beer company, my little face. <laughs> Something like that. And we'll put this bad boy up there. It's very dark though, we don't think we can see that can. Uh, Headwise, we'll call that a finger's head. And it is a mild hazy, I'd call it. You definitely cannot see Jack through there, but well, maybe maybe at the bottom where the where the stem of the glass is. Ooh, definitely getting some yeah, some kind of mandarin, orange maybe. 
but it is quite light. It's not, I'm not getting tropical fruits on the nose. But I am getting kind of juicy fruits. Um, and every time I think juicy fruits, I think something like Simcoe, perhaps. Let me relax into the Safar. And yeah, their branding's pretty cool as well. Should I shut that? Shut up shop? Yeah, let's wait for this um, beer to settle a little bit and I will try my best to shut up. Oh. Yeah, so I'm trying to get it back together. Ah, not too bad this time. There we go, looks more like a tree. Anyway, guys, cheers and beers. Oh, if you like this review or any of my Advent reviews, why not click like and subscribe? I'm setting up playlists for these. Um, so you can either watch them in order, one a day, obviously, or you can uh, watch the whole series once it's done. Um, obviously, you'll have to wait till Christmas Day and then the whole of the Advent calendar will be done. In fact, this one, I think, hopefully this won't fall, fall down, 24, 25th. So this one actually has a beer on Christmas Day as well. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to have to line those up. So let's drink some beer. Yeah, ooh, interesting. So, up front, we've got some fruit, some, some sort of juicy fruit. But as your palate is kind of cleansed um, by that kind of juiciness, something else emerges, something a bit more high, uh, light notes. Um, maybe a Nelson Savon, something like that. So I'm getting a sort of grapey, um, lotusy kind of taste as well. But up front it's one hop, and then literally it just changes into another hop, which is kind of nice to see. Um, we do also have a certain amount of lacing, which is always good. Am I getting tide lines? Not really, um, but I am liking this beer. So this one is a good one, day two. Obviously, day one, we had two beers, uh, which was kind of weird. It should have been one, should have been one beer and, and some snacks. But instead, they gave me two beers, which were kind of mediocre beers. Um, it is what it is, two, two beers in one. But I would have preferred the snacks, I think, especially if it was a special beer, which I didn't actually get at all. Juicy, ooh, smooth, that is nice. I have had some beers that kind of do that, be you know, before, but this one is doing it quite well. The shame is, I mean, Northern Monk do make some fantastic beers. Um, the only drawback with this is it's a session IPA, um, which is uh, just ridiculous. Call it a pale ale, please, because otherwise, this, if you'd called this just a pale ale, this probably would have got onto consideration for my beer of the year 2022. I don't think it would have won, but it would have been on the list. But because you've called it a session IPA, I'm instantly striking you off the list. You're not even in consideration. I apologize. I apologize, Northern Monk. Because I do, I mean, everything's there. The can is cool. The taste is there. The hops are there. 4%, it doesn't bother me. Um, the only thing is the name Session IPA. So, so sorry, Northern Monk, but I'm definitely not going to add that to my, my list. So what's going on here? Uh, right, so there are tabs on the bottom. 
Those are, oh, Jesus, this is going to be hard. On the bottom as well as the top. So you've got to line it up perfectly there and there at the same time. There we go. So, yeah, I'm glad I found that out. So, 25 beers, 26 beers. Um, yeah, 26 beers. And this was originally advertised for £130. So if we do a quick mental calculation, that means each one of these beers is a fiver. Five quid for a 330 can. And from the look of things, I don't think I've got, yeah, I don't think I've got any 440 cans at all. Because the only one that would have been was part of day one and I didn't get that. I got two 330 cans instead. So there's the juice, cleans the palate, and there's the finish. Whoa, lovely. I mean, Northern Monk, you have done me proud. I, I very much think that this one, yeah, this one is gonna win the battle of the beers, I think, for, uh, for day two, uh, because that is a fantastic beer. There is nothing wrong with that beer at all, apart from five pounds a can. <laughs> anyway, like I say, this has been Uncle Jonah. If you've liked this review, if you wanna see more, please click like, click subscribe down below. Please leave some comments. How are you getting on with your beer advent calendar? Let me know down below. Hey, that's a kind of rhyme, like one of the, uh, the rhymes that's written on there. This has been Uncle Jonah drinking some more Advent beers so you guys don't have to. You can relax, kick back and watch Uncle Jonah drinking beer with the beer company. <laughs> Take care guys, we'll see you tomorrow.